According to some conspiracy theorists, the moon landing was nothing more than an elaborate hoax orchestrated by the U.S. government in a bid to assert their dominance over the Soviet Union during the space race of the 1960s. They claim that the American government, in collaboration with NASA, staged the entire event on a film set, complete with actors, props, and special effects. One of the main arguments put forth by moon landing skeptics is the absence of stars in the photographs and videos taken during the Apollo missions. They argue that in the vacuum of space, the stars should have been clearly visible, yet the images released by NASA show a seemingly starless sky. According to them, this is a clear indication that the moon landing was filmed in a controlled environment where the stars could not be replicated accurately. Conspiracy theorists also point to the fluttering of the American flag on the moon's surface as evidence of deception. They argue that since there is no atmosphere on the moon to cause wind, the flag should not have been waving. To them, this suggests that the entire scene was created on Earth, where the flag could indeed flutter due to the wind. Another area of contention for conspiracy theorists is the discrepancy in the lighting and shadows seen in the moon landing footage. They argue that the lighting on the moon's surface appears inconsistent, with shadows appearing in odd directions. In their eyes, this inconsistency points towards the use of multiple light sources, which would not be possible on the moon. The absence of blast craters under the lunar modules is yet another point of concern for moon landing skeptics. They question why the lunar modules did not create any noticeable impact craters upon landing, considering the force generated from their descent. In their view, this suggests that the moon landing was staged, with the lunar modules being lowered onto the set without any real contact with the moon's surface. Conspiracy theorists also heavily scrutinize the photographs taken by the astronauts during their moonwalks. They argue that many of the images appear to have been strategically framed to hide any anomalies or discrepancies that would have exposed the moon landing as fake. They claim that the angles at which the photos were taken often don't match up with the position of the sun, casting doubt on their authenticity. Additionally, skeptics question the technology of the time and how the astronauts were able to record and transmit live footage from the moon back to Earth. They argue that the technology available in the 1960s was simply not advanced enough to achieve such a feat. To them, the live broadcast was a carefully crafted illusion to make the moon landing appear real. Furthermore, conspiracy theorists believe that the photos and videos released by NASA could have easily been altered using advanced editing techniques. They argue that the grainy footage and quality of the images conveniently hide any potential inconsistencies or evidence of staging. In their eyes, this raises doubts about the credibility of the entire moon landing mission. Lastly, skeptics highlight the multiple inconsistencies in the testimonies of astronauts and NASA personnel involved in the moon landing. They point to instances where astronauts allegedly made peculiar responses during interviews, indicating their knowledge of the alleged hoax. According to conspiracy theorists, these inconsistencies and slips of the tongue further expose the moon landing as a sham. So, there you have it, a glimpse into the world of moon landing conspiracy theorists. While scientists and experts vehemently dismiss these claims and provide scientific evidence to support the reality of the moon landing, the conspiracy theorists continue to raise questions and demand answers. In the end, it's up to each individual to examine the evidence and decide for themselves. Until then, let's keep our minds open and our search for truth alive.